This tutorial series will deal with the render basic components, lights, material, and render engines. The first part is about creating a studio setup. We will create an object to act as a backdrop and three lights. Let's start by creating our backdrop object. Go to the left viewport and use the polyline tool to draw the section of our backdrop object. Select the fillet command and apply it to the corner. In this way we avoid sharp corners and smooth out lighting and shadows. Now select the extrude curve command and be sure that you have both sides enabled. Finish the command to create our backdrop object. Let's go on with creating the lights. Since Rhino lights are supported by Thea, we will use area lights. At first, we will create the overall light, which will be placed on top of our scene. This light will be used to cast the uniform lighting to our scene. Next, we will create our main light. The main light will have the greatest contribution to the scene. Rotate the light 45 degrees and move it next to our object. By using the mirror tool, create a copy of this light. This will be the secondary light, also known as fill light. Again, rotate the light by 45 degrees. This is a way to control the reflection seen on the object. Let's give some proper names to the lights. After having placed our lights, it's time to set the appropriate intensities to them. The top light will be left at its default value. Let's open Thea Darkroom to have a quick look at our scene. For the main light, we will increase the intensity to 200 watts and change its color to a cool tone. Now select the secondary light and lower its intensity to 60 watts. Again, change the color to a warm tone this time. It's time to set the camera on stage and see what our studio looks like. You can open the sun and sky panel from Thea Toolbar and click on Lights tab. From here you can enable and disable the lights of our studio setup and see the contribution of each and every light. This is with main light only, overall, and finally the secondary. It is important to note that the size of objects play a significant role for Thea. If, for example, an object has the size of a stadium, it will be impossible to illuminate it with a 100 watts lamp. This will also help in using physically correct camera parameters and light intensities. In the next part of these tutorials, we will take a look at some of the basic Thea materials like plastic, metal, glass and more. Thank you for watching.